with the Orlando massacre a few days ago, uh, this seems like an ongoing problem with ISIS. What does the United States need to do to defeat ISIS? First, it has to recognize there's a problem. <laughs> I mean, uh, how do I say in a couple of sentences everything that comes rushing into my head? <laughs> we have a leadership class that is so far removed from reality that they would rather see public funding cut off to children, to poor children's lunches, that allow those children to go into separate bathrooms. What do you say about a leadership like that? A leadership that would rather see women in combat than win battles. That's true. A president who ascribes the Orlando thing to us rather than to Islam. Where, where do you begin? Where do you, I don't know. You know, if you come to me and you say the house is on fire, and my response is, you know, I always <laughs> thought the Wizard of Oz got a bum rap. I think people should have been more understanding of it. That may even be true. But it's <laughs> actually not, not really germane <laughs> to the fact that the house is on fire. Uh, it is sad, in my estimation, and I could be wrong, it is sad to think that the Russian president understands ISIS better than ours. That, that's really just, uh, again, like all of us, I'm a prisoner of my age, and I was raised during the Cold War. The idea that a president of Russia could understand reality more yeah. than the president of the United States, I got a problem with that. I really do. Yeah. Fortunately, we're very unlikely to get anything better. Okay. I hate to be Debbie Downer, but there it is.